today's video, we're going to test the latest model from Zito AI, GLM 4.6, to see how well it performs. This model is specifically designed for advanced tasks, especially coding. The link is provided in the description. Once you visit the website, this is the interface you'll see. Here, you'll notice a plus icon, which allows you to upload up to 10 files, with a maximum size of 50 megabytes per file. The second option is Web Search. This is an AI-powered search model that provides real-time, fresh, and up to date information directly from the internet. Next, we have deep thinking. This mode responds a bit more slowly, but uses advanced reasoning. It's helpful for complex logic, planning, multi step problem solving, and handling difficult questions. Scrolling further, you'll find AI Slide, which automatically generates full presentation slides with structured content. After that, we have Full Stack, which can create and edit an entire software project front end, back end, APIs, databases, and even deployment. It's specifically designed for building complete coding projects, whether it's a website or an app. Next is Magic Design, which helps with visual design tasks such as UI mockups, graphics, low fidelity brand concepts, and other design assets. Then we have Deep Search, which performs long form research. It provides structured reports, multi source analysis, summaries, references, and more. It's ideal for detailed, in depth research. And finally, there's Write Code, which can write and edit code in any programming language, whether it's a function, script, or component. Component, this tool can handle the coding task. Now that we've covered the general overview of the website, let's move on to creating a simple app. We'll build a basic tool where a user can type text and convert it into a PDF. Our goal is just to test the logic and speed of GLM 4.6. We won't be creating a complex project in this video. Here is the prompt we'll use. Build a simple web app where a user types text into a text box and clicks a button to download that text as a PDF. Submit the prompt. Once we hit submit, the model will take a moment moment to think. It will first generate the HTML code in index.html. Since this is a simple app, it will generate straightforward code, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. If we had selected full stack, then it would have generated a full next.js or React project. But for our test, this simple app is enough. We'll wait a couple of minutes while it creates the code. Yes, the UI has been generated. Let's check if the logic works. Open it in full screen using the open website button next to the close icon at the top. Here you can see the basic basic UI. Below, you can adjust the font size. We'll leave it at the default normal. You can also change text alignment, which is currently set to left. You can rename the file. We'll keep it as PDF. We also have an option for page margin, which we'll keep at normal. Below that, we have options like load simple text, copy text, and clear all. Let's load some simple text. Yes, it has loaded the default sample text. Now let's test the copy button, working perfectly. Now click download PDF. Save it anywhere on your system, and then open the file to verify. Yes, the PDF was generated correctly. The logic works perfectly. It's a small app, but functional. Let's check the clear all button as well. Yes, it clears the text. Everything is working 100% correctly. The UI, however, is quite basic. So let's modernize it. We'll use this prompt. Make the UI look more modern, professional, and visually appealing. Submit the prompt. Again, it generates the complete code, this time with an improved UI layout. Let's check the results. Not only has the interface been modernized, but some useful features have also been added. You can now see character count, word count, and line count for the document. Very nice improvements. It has also loaded the default sample text, which contains around 1,305 characters, 182 words, and 18 lines. Very good. Let's keep everything at default and click Generate PDF. Save the file and check if it works. Yes, the PDF output is perfect. Everything, the logic, the UI improvements, the functionality, is working smoothly. Now let's take a look at how powerful, efficient, and fast Z.AI really is, and what capabilities it offers. We'll explore everything step by step first. We'll open the documentation and start with the quick start guide. Looking at the pricing section, Z.AI provides clear information about model usage and tools, with all prices listed in USD pricing is calculated per 1 million tokens. For example, the GLM 4.6 model is currently free for a limited time and will later become a paid model GLM 4.6. 5, however, remains completely free. Next, let's check out the API section. Z.AI supports HTTP API calls and multiple programming languages, making integration simple and flexible. The API uses a secure authentication method and provides access to all core services. You'll also find basic call examples. For instance, JavaScript code is provided showing a simple call ZLAI function using GLM 4.6. The example demonstrates how the request 
is built, including the URL, post method, authorization header, JSON payload, and basic error handling. The message passed here is, hello, please introduce yourself. If the response is successful, the output is shown. Otherwise, it displays an error. Next, we have migrate to GLM 4.6, a complete guide explaining how to migrate your existing application from older models to GLM 4.6 or even the upcoming GLM 4.7. All steps are clearly documented for developers. Then we have deep thinking. This feature enables advanced reasoning, helping the model deliver more accurate and structured answers, especially for complex logic and multi-step tasks. Deep thinking currently supports GLM 4.5 and GLM 4.6. Next is streaming message, which allows the model to generate responses in real time instead of waiting for the full output. This drastically improves user experience, especially during long content generation, as you immediately see the text appear. Another interesting tool, although not directly related to coding, is the video effect template agent Z.ai provides three special effects video templates. You simply upload an image and include instructions in the prompt, and the system will convert the image into a stylized video. You can preview the templates yourself for a better understanding. Moving to the API reference, as mentioned earlier, Z.ai offers a powerful HTTP API that supports multiple languages. It also explains error handling in detail. API responses include both an outer and inner layer, and you can see the full list of HTTP status codes, such as 200 and 400 series, along with their meanings. Below that, you'll find chat completion with several examples you can explore. Next is Code Plan, which includes GLM 4.7, Cloud Code, Client, Open Code, Roo Code, and more tools. These start at just $3 per month and are designed to help you code faster and smarter. The Natural Language Programming feature lets you describe your requirements in plain language, and the model automatically generates the plan, the code, debugging steps, and more. There is also Intelligent Code Completion, similar to Git-style suggestions, providing real-time, context-aware code recommendations that significantly boost productivity. Below that are the plan advantages and usage limits. Light Plan, 120 prompts every 5 hours, Cloud Max 3 times, Pro Plan, 600 prompts every 5 hours, Cloud Max 10 times, Max Plan, 2,400 prompts every 5 hours, Cloud Max 20 times. Below that, you can see additional tools supported under Cloud Code, Kilo Code, Client, Open Code, Crash, and more. Next, under New Releases, you can view release dates for all models. For example, GLM 4.6 was released on September 30th, 2025. You can explore the full list for more details. Regarding pricing for coding plans, GLM 4.6, Lite is $3 per month, Pro is $15 per month, Max is $30 per month. You can also switch to quarterly or yearly billing. My suggestion, try the free version first. If the results meet your expectations, then consider upgrading to a paid plan. So we'll end the video here. If you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments which AI tool you want me to cover next, and what type of project I should build. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.